So welcome to Little Blessings Online, your baby and toddler group, wherever you are, whenever you are, anywhere in the world, Mm. really. So I'm Andy B. And I'm Jo. And if you'd like to stay in touch with what you're doing, you can like our Facebook page, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mm -hmm. and you can sign up to the blog via our website and you'll get everything we ever do. Good stuff. All of it. Yes. Well, today... (laughs) Not fruit. Not so, no, not fruit. It's vegetables we're concentrating on today for this. So glad you could join us. Um, but yeah, little blessings online. It's, you are what you eat, is what they say. Yes. Which really means that it's really important what you eat, and vegetables are really good for you. So I've got a little bit of a game to start. Maybe you'd like to join in with this, Andy. Yes. I'd like you to think about as many and say any as many vegetables as you can in ten seconds. Are you ready? Yes, not a tomato. <laughs> no. And go. A potato and a carrot, an artichoke. Um, a vegetable store has lots. Does that count as many? No. No. Okay. Uh, Stop. Co- oh. <laughs> Does a vegetable store not count? I thought that was genius. No. You've got to name them. Well, look, the, <laughs> There's three. The market store people, they could name them. <laughs> I don't know how well you did, um, but it's not very long, 10 seconds, and there's lots of vegetables. Let me show you some. We've got some pictures for you. This one. Oh, cauliflower. Um, I like like cauliflower. cauliflower. Yeah, very, very nice. Cauliflower cheese. Oh, lovely. With bacon. There you go. There's a lovely big uh, cauliflower and some carrots there still with their stalks in lovely orange colour. They should be purple. They're very tasty. They should be, shouldn't they? They're the wrong colour. Yeah, they used to be, and they've changed colour. Broccoli. Some people like it. Some people don't. We like broccoli. We like broccoli. (laughs) <laughs> Dave the dog doesn't apparently. I think that's lettuce, and that's, there's a, all that's a glass kinds, of water. All kinds it's of. It's a lettuce. glass of water. There's lots of water, yeah, in lettuce. It's, it's Drink not much. A glass of water cut out the middle. Man. There's not much to it, is there? But no. it's healthy. That's good. <laughs> uh, oh, corn on the cob. My favourite. Lovely. You can have just just the sweet corn, but that's you can eat it eat, from. Do you want a fact? Yeah. A fact about corn on the cob. What's you that? You know the like the string strandy things that stick out. Yeah. Okay. For every little yellow corn on the cob sweet corn bit, there's yeah. one strand. Yes, way. How do you know that? I read it. <laughs> wow, fantastic. I read it on the Isn't science amazing? website. So we learned about lots of different vegetables. We saw some great pictures. We played a game and we've got an amazing facts. There you go. I mean, you can't beat that, can Every you? Every piece of sweet corn in the sweet corn, corn <laughs> on the cob, do icky, what's it? There's a piece of stringy strand wow. stuff hanging out. See, proper science terms and everything. It is, fantastic. What's next then, Andy? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> what are we doing next? Story time. Story time. Okay. Yeah. Story time. Sorry, looking at the director. Uh, yeah, story time is next. And um, that means Dave the dog, which is always a, a, a thrill because we like mm. Dave the dog. So here's Dave the dog. And Dave the dog doing what Dave the dog yeah. does with vegetables. <laughs> the story time today. We're going to be talking about vegetables and water. But first, let's get Dave the dog to join us. Dave! You're right. I was hoping to be ready for your call. Hang on. Are you reading another email? No, it's a text message. (laughs) It's from Bertie, who bossed in that computer. I was trying to be finished, but it's a bit hard trying to speed type when you ain't got fingers. Oh, okay. Texting, I don't know, emails, busy, busy, aren't you? Oh, techno savvy doggy me. (laughs) Right, are you ready for the story? Oh, yes. Excellent. It's about vegetables and water today. How do you feel about vegetables? I like water. I like water. Water's good for you, isn't it? I have to like vegetables too. They are good for you, Dave. I am a dog. You are a dog. I don't like broccoli. Don't like broccoli? They're stuck in my teeth. What about carrots? Wasn't that good for your teeth? Carrots are good fun as a dog. You can spit them out. <laughs> you can have bits. fun. Excellent. <laughs> well, today we're looking at um, Daniel again. Remember last week we found out that Daniel's a good guy. He, he's a good prayer. And remember those angels came to visit him. 
Oh, one was dead quick and one was dead slow. That's it. He ran the into slow some... angel needed a bit more help because he was having a bit of a bother. Yeah, a bit of a bit of traffic in the angel world. Must try harder. <laughs> I'm sure he did try hard, um, but yes, that was what happened last time. Well, this time, um, Daniel um, was basically living in Jerusalem, a place uh, where he was living. But the nation, this new nation, took did over. Did him have a dog? Sorry. Did him have a dog? Who have a dog? Daniel. Um, it doesn't say so, but you never know. It did. It, it didn't. You didn't get a dog mentioned, but it might have had a dog. Yeah. But anyway, um, he was um living in Jerusalem, but this new king took over, and so Daniel and his friends went to live in a place called Babylon. Did these friends have dogs? Ah, uh, they might have done. Again, I don't know. Cause they we... could have gone walking together, <laughs> couldn't they? They could have done, couldn't they? Oh. Well, they were good friends, so if they had dogs, I think they would have gone walking together. Everyone should have a dog. Yeah. Not well... a cat. Okay. <laughs> don't like cats. <laughs> well, they were chosen to go and live in the palace where the king lived because they were strong, they were handsome, and uh, they were good looking. Um, because the king wanted people to work I have that for him. Problem. Dude, what's that? Good looking. You're good looking. It's well, me orange hair. Yeah, well, these Daniel was very good looking, very strong, and um, handsome, and so were his friends. But they were also educated and wise, and that's why the king wanted them to work for him. So they go to the palace. But... I'm pretty educated now. I can get online. Oh, yeah. I mean, what were you texting and emailing? You sound like you know what you're doing. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, obviously, Daniel, back then, they didn't have, you know, texting and things like that. But they were very educated. And so... How did they talk if they couldn't text? I know. So Even I can text. I know. You can't imagine a world without text and the emails, can you? But that's the world they lived in because it was a long time ago. So um, they were... Was they... it in a galaxy far, far away? <laughs> Just just in history, a oh, few okay. years back. Um, so they went to the palace, but the idea was they couldn't work for the king until they'd been trained up, and that was going to take three years. Okay, that makes sense. Bit of doggy training. Yep, some training. So, um, okay, so they're in the palace, and the boss, like the guy in charge, um, has to like work with them and get them ready. And, and what they were going to do was they were going to eat the food and wine from the king's kitchen. So, you know. I bet that tasted good, date. Well, yes, but Daniel said, no, no, I don't want to eat it. I don't want the food and the wine from the king. And the reason. Was there he... something wrong with Daniel? Well, no, actually. Daniel wanted to put God first uh, and not the king first. So if he ate all the food from the king, um, then he wouldn't be putting God first. Um, so he said. Look, I'll just eat vegetables and and water because he thought he'd be safe with that because he didn't know where the food came from. He had to be really careful because it was a different nation, a different um different rules and different culture. Could have had it delivered, <laughs> and he'd yeah. know where it come from. Well, today we've got like all the labels, haven't we? When we buy stuff, it tells you what's in it, doesn't it? Well, of course, Daniel wouldn't know what would be in his food, but he thought he'd be pretty safe with vegetables and water. Yeah, safe. Oh. Yeah, and he didn't think he need, believed he wouldn't get it wrong, and he'd be right with God. Um, but the boss, the guy in charge, even though God made him kind towards Daniel and his friends, um, he was a bit worried. He thought that the king might be angry if. Um, it's if, another scary story. No, no, it's just that he was just worried that because the king said they were supposed to have this food to make him strong and make him ready, um, and so the, the 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 boss said, you know, what if you're what if you end up being pale and you're not healthy and everything if you don't eat the food and the wine. Oh. So I suppose he made a good point. So Daniel says, I tell you what, put us on trial for 10 days. We'll just have vegetables and water and see what you think after 10 days. They have to go to the dog groomers to be on trial. <laughs> have their hair done. No, no. All it was going to do is they were going to eat vegetables and water for 10 days. And then the guy in charge would see if they looked as healthy as the other men who were eating all the food and wine from the king. Oh, fair so dues. that was the plan. And that was a good idea, wasn't it? To see if it worked. So after 10 days... Um, I'll count to 10. No, but 10 days went by and Daniel Is and his friends... that more than three? That's more than three. That's I'll like count to three, three neither. sets of three plus one. <laughs> there you go. A bit of maths there. <laughs> I don't do maths. <laughs> don't do maths. I have a calculator. Well, Daniel With and Bluetooth. his... Bluetooth. 
Daniel and his three friends, because you can do three, can't you? That's Actually, that's four people. All of them had vegetables and water for 10 days. And after the 10 days, they looked healthier and better than the other men who were eating all the food and the wine from the king. Am you sure? No, absolutely sure. You're not sure. No, I am absolutely certain. That's what exactly what happened. Daniel was looking much, much better. So they were allowed to just have vegetables and water the whole time because cool, it worked. They were they were fine. They were looking well. They were looking better than the other men, which is brilliant. So Daniel's happy. His three friends are happy, and of course the boss, the the guy in charge, is happy, and of course the king's happy. So everybody's happy. That's, a win-win. It's a win-win situation. <laughs> and so they did their three-year training on vegetables and water all that time. They, they were being trained about vegetables and water. <laughs> no, they were being trained. They were learning the new language in Babylon, and they were learning all about the stuff in Babylon because it's a new nation, a new set of people, a new stuff that they all, all had to learn. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. And when they learned all of that, they went before and how the... much study you could do on a carrot. <laughs> it's orange. Well, it's funny you should there's a lot to learn about vegetables how to grow them and there's so many vegetables isn't there there's carrots and and tomatoes <laughs> or is that a fruit no no let's not have that conversation <laughs> fruit and vegetables i could google it and find out <laughs> we could can we there's so many vegetables and so much to learn about vegetables but i think you're right dave they weren't learning just about vegetables they were learning about all kinds of things in that new nation well the king saw the three friends and daniel and he was really really impressed after their training um he couldn't believe how wise they were but god gave them a special ability to have to wis have wisdom and knowledge and understanding and so do you know what happened at the end no, because I don't know the story. You don't know the story. Every week you ask me if I know the story and I'm here to find out. <laughs> and so they got the job. They got the jobs. All of them got to get to work in the palace that's cool. for the king. And that's 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 how it happy ending there. But they have to eat carrots after that and all. I, I think they carried on eating the vegetables and water to be on the safe side, to be honest. I think I yeah. prefer the meat me. Well, yeah, I, I was I wondering dog. that. Yeah, dog, you, you are a meat eater, aren't you, as a dog? Um, not really a vegetarian, are you? But I fancy trying to work out what it would be like if I was... <laughs> Let's keep it PG. You know, keep it PG some rated. Some people do prefer to just eat vegetables. Some people can't eat certain things, can't they? I mean, you're not allowed to eat chocolate, are you? Remember you told me that that's not good for you. Why would people choose to only eat vegetables? Um, because it's healthy. Uh, maybe they d they don't like meat. Maybe they can't eat meat. Um, oh, or maybe they don't. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So there's lots of different reasons, isn't there? So Daniel chose to put God first. That's why he didn't want to eat the meat. Um, and I don't know if he ever met at meat again. Perhaps he did. I don't know. We'll have to read the Bible and find out. And we'll actually, next week, we'll find out more about Daniel. Okay. So what did you think of that story? Vegetables and water. I think I prefer the meat. <laughs> I'm glad I want Daniel. <laughs> But I'm a Dave. Different D. Dave. Well, thank you for joining us, Dave the dog. Are you going to finish in your texting now? Oh, I, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> he was asking me computer stuff. Oh, I right don't then. know. Well, you enjoy the rest of the day. Have I made you hungry? I suppose not with vegetables. Not really, no. Are you going to go and have your dinner now? Oh. All right, then. So See you next meat. time. Have some meat, Steak. then. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, meat. <laughs> And that's story time. Dave the dog, he's brilliant, isn't he? I knew I was going to have trouble if we were talking about vegetables. I was um, a bit concerned when we talked about it. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, there Dave, we go. Dave. That was good fun. Not a fan um, of tomatoes, Dave. <laughs> Not. Um, so it was great to see him again. Hope you enjoyed that. So it's song time next, and it's head. Shoulders, knees and toes. There's one head, not two. Head, shoulders, <laughs> knees, knees and, and toes. toes. And the other one is, oh, Je Jesus loves us. Something like that. <laughs> okay. We'll find okay, out. Find a space and, and do the action. Go fun. for it. <laughs> Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes And eyes and mouth and ears and nose 
Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and mouth and ears and nose. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Knees and toes, knees and toes. Knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and mouth and ears and nose. Knees and toes, knees and toes. And toes, and toes. And toes, and toes, and, toes, and, toes, and eyes and mouth and ears and nose. And toes, and toes. And, 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 and eyes and mouth and ears and nose. loves you, Jesus loves me, yes, yes, clap, 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 Jesus loves me, Jesus loves you, yes, yes, clap, 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 point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door, clap your hands together, one, two, three, Jesus loves both you and me. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. Yes, yes. Clap, clap, clap. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you. Yes, yes. Clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling. Point to the floor. Point to the window and point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Jesus loves both you and me. loves you, Jesus loves me, yes, yes, clap, 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 Jesus loves me, Jesus loves you, yes, yes, clap, 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 point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window and point to the door, clap your hands together, one, two, three, Jesus loves both you and me. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of singing and a little bit of moving around. So we've now come to, as you can tell, uh, we've come to art time, where you can make some toilet roll vegetables. Um, it's quite a short video, so you might want to watch this once or twice. But it's really, really simple and easy. And if you can see in the picture, we've got some leeks and some carrots, some corn on the cob. So here's Jojo with some toilet roll vegetables. For art time today, we're making toilet roll vegetables. And as you can see, I got very excited and made lots of vegetables here in a basket. So we've got carrot, leek, corn on the cob and broccoli. And so what you'll need uh, obviously, depending on what vegetable you want to make, if you want to make a full basket, you need lots of different colours. But you need a toilet roll, some paper. Now, you could use plain paper and paint it or paint straight onto the toilet roll. And you can use um, card or foam to make the sort of stalks and the leaves. And then sellotape, scissors and a pen if you want to draw the corn on the cob. So you simply take a toilet roll and an A4 piece of paper um, and just roll it on like that. Just roll it. 
and then stick it down a couple of tabs maybe just one two i'm going to make a broccoli actually but obviously you can make um make it into a leek or a, or a vegetable of your choice but you simply just need to cover the tube the cardboard tube uh, like that to start with and that gives you your base and as i say i'm going to make broccoli so for broccoli what we need is some cut up pieces so um what i've done is cut the a4 into half and i've got three and you just do some scrunching and stick it in the top like that can be quite awkward but just push it in more scrunching and you can you can use be creative and just make them into any vegetable you want and the way you want it which is what i love about this art piece is you just take the basic toilet roll the tube and then just make it in to different vegetables so that's a broccoli there and as i say for a leek you want a bit of foam and you just cut the bits up at the top to make it leek like um, and there you go go crazy and make lots of vegetables I was really impressed that you got a tongue twister in. <laughs> leak like. Leak like. Try and say leak like 10 times. Yeah, how badly that could work out. I did enjoy making those vegetables. I could have kept going actually uh, and just done, we could have done aubergines and um, the only things that I suppose that were shaped to go round the toilet roll because a potato's more round, isn't it? But you can make whatever vegetables you like and I hope you really enjoy that. Um, but it's time to say goodbye now. That's the end of this uh, episode. Um, but we are back next week. Leak like, leak like, leak like. <laughs> He's on it. I got it. So, uh, <laughs> if you enjoy what we do with this, and um, perhaps you'd like to see Dave the dog where you are, we've got a little video all about that. We love making resources for you, to inspire you, that you can use in your situation, your home, your church, your family church. Resources that can inspire you, that you can stream, share and download. And we love making it free, that everybody can access whatever they may well need. But perhaps there's something we haven't yet covered that you really want us to do. Perhaps a day of the dog story for your Sunday school or all age service on a particular Bible topic. Get in touch and let us know and we'll see what we can do. Any monies that you make from commissions like this go straight back into the Berry Bunch to make everything else that we do stay free. So let us know what you need, get in touch. There you go. You could get us to make a Dave the Dog story just for you, <laughs> if we can convince Dave. Yeah, that's true. To have true. a word with him, he's a bit, he's a bit dodgy sometimes. That bloke. <laughs> so um, that's the end of our time today. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you again next week. So it's now time to say goodbye. 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 There are loads of ways to keep in touch with the Berry Bunch. Visit our website and make sure you sign up to the blog and get notified on all our videos, posts, exciting news and seasonal events. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and get told when we post brand new video resources. Take a look over Dingdash, a fabulous place that connects people from all over the world. Like us on Facebook where we hang out and post extra stuff to encourage and inspire you. We're on Instagram too and share extra photos when we're out and about. 
And if you're enjoying using or sharing what we do, visit us over on Patreon and you can become part of the extended Berry Bunch family by supporting us with the cost of all we do. Thank you.